All right. Um, yeah, I've been wanting to do this. Someone requested these ages ago. There's a, I found all of them, I think. I think there's f three of the bagel guy on Jim and Sam. This one and a chip. Um, I think, well, they're the ones I found anyway, but, um, yeah, I thought I'd do these because I'm a bit scared to do Opian Anthony until the 25th of January, because, yeah, the last one got me banned. So until the 25th of January, I'm a bit hesitant to put Opian Anthony up because you never know what that's going to, where that's going to go. And also you never know what YouTube's going to block, but after the 25th of January, my kind of probationary period is up. Um, but yeah, anyway. Short Guys Bagel Boss Breakdown, Jim Norton and Sam Roberts Show. Now, I know a lot of, like I said before in an open Anthony, that I, I want to do this. And people said, just don't bother with Jim and Sam. But to be honest, I like both Jim and Sam. Like, I'm not quite as vindictive against sam as as most people i mean i've heard him say some awful jokes but uh, i mean like not awful as in terms of its content i mean awful as in like not funny but um yeah someone it might have even been kajabril i'm not sure i'm not sure who kind of suggested these but yeah it was ages ago but i was in the middle of the lady die um Saga, the Lady Die internship. But yeah, anyway, short guys, bagel boss breakdown. Which is this gonna be good because I don't I do remember this, matey, but I don't remember the really remember the video. Do you know what I mean? I remember the kind of the hoopla of the video. But the last I remember hearing about the video and then hearing that it it was fate and that he kind of does it all the time or so. I can't remember. Like I say it was years ago, but so this would be good because it will kind of refresh me. I don't even know if I watched the video back then, to be honest. But you couldn't escape it. It was huge. It was everywhere. Everybody kind of knew about it all around the world, which is mental. Mental. But anyway, yeah. Let's go. So I'm going through, and I mean, this was everywhere yesterday. The real winners here are the Bagel Boss in Long Island. Yeah, they are. The store is called the Bagel Boss. So the original. Oh boy, that's a few more than I thought. Okay, the original has eighteen point one million views. <laughs> if you wonder why I laughed at and they didn't say anything funny, it's because Nala just fell over the Hoover. <laughs> you silly sod! Did that scare you? Did you get scared? Oh, <laughs> she just stacked it. Go lie down. Go on. Go lie down. We'll go out in a minute. I'll do half of this, and then we go out. Go lie down. Go on. Go lie down. Go on. Lie down. Good girl. Lie down means go on my bed. Put her bed. Anyway, let's go. And that's not even <laughs> taking into account all of the rip-offs of it. You know, because so many people, I'm sure, just downloaded off the original Twitter account that it came out on. And post it on their own Twitter account. So you're definitely looking, I would guess, over the course of 24 hours, somewhere in the 22 to 25 million range of yeah, views. Yeah. Um, well, lie down. A his little, little shirt. Look at his little shirt. Well, it's so down. small. It's not supposed to be that long. It's a but diminutive his, shirt. His torso is so short. It's not supposed to fall that low on the waist, but his torso is shorter than, you know, the average male that it's designed for. His shorts that the man's wearing, see how far below yep. the knee they go? They're not supposed to go that low, but you know what happened? His legs are little, too. I bet he had been striking out on dating site, and I think the woman had probably, probably caught her biting her lip or smirking over him like he's a child. Mm -hmm. He caught her making some kind of look and just exploded. He threw a temper tantrum. They went to the uh, uh, this bagel store, Bagel Boss, in Long Island, who, by the way, have celebrated so much. I think they posted a tweet or something that said anybody that comes in and mentions this video gets a free mini bagel, which is going to cost them a lot of mini bagels. Bagel Boss is delicious. It is, but is it a chain? Yeah, it's a chain. I see. Yeah, I see. Wow, they're having a great day. Who this, is this guy? They are having a great day. This guy, 
He's, you know, he's clearly a Long Island guy. He sounds like he's a Long Island guy. Yeah. He acts like he's a Long Island guy. He acts like he's a Long Island guy. He, how tall would you say he is? Five feet. He said something about, he says his height. Five foot even. He says something about five feet. They say things like, you should be dead. Like, these, this guy's probably been tortured on dating sites. Let me tell you something. He gives it away early, what, what's got to him, and you kind of feel bad for him. I don't. I felt, I, I felt bad for his life. Like, he's being a dick, but I was like, oh. But you know what? He doesn't just get made fun of for being short. It's not like this is the first time he's gotten over right. angry. He's a dickhead. He might be a dickhead, so but this is, this is, by the way, this is network. This is, I'm as mad as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what it looks like in real life. This is the culmination. This is what it looks like when it's not scripted by Patty Chayefsky. Yeah. This is how people <laughs> explode. But this is the culmination of all this. He's been a dickhead the whole time. However, I will tell you, this is exactly why when I was a kid and I was short and the doctor said, you probably won't get past 5'1". I was like 12 right. and I started doing HGH because I realized the life of a shrimp adult male yeah. is nothing I want to experience. I said, if I get made fun of in school for being short, imagine being an adult. You go into, even if you're like a super powerful guy, you go into a business meeting, you got a suit on, you could be the boss. The minute you leave, everybody's making fun of you for being a little guy. It's like Pacino or, or Tom Cruise, who are not tall guys. But it's amazing how people will say, like, no one knows that. But when people say I met him, like, yeah, he's shorter than I thought he was. Like, that, if, Immediately. No one is ever happily shorter. Mm -mm. No one's ever like, dude, it's so good. Oh, my God, she was shorter than I thought. Well, it's okay for girls to be short, I think. Yeah, it's true, but... Because that can be cute. Some people like I that. Guess it's so not, it's not the worst thing in the world. Or he should. Yeah, just the idea of being shorter than expected is never a good thing. Right. Even if you don't, you, have the, you hear that conversation oh, when they're talking about actors. Oh, did you know? Like, that's the third trivia that comes up every time. Within the top three trivia remarks, it's, he's actually really short. And they've you done, wouldn't think. They've done po like, like uh, things on how many presidents have won that were taller. Yeah, of and course. It's almost all of them. Of course. Who are taller. There is something visually. We're apes. We just look at the taller person, and that's the person we kind of defer to. That's the authority figure. I trust that person. Yeah. We go back to being kids when we look at adults as being big. Yeah. So once we become adults and somebody who's smaller than us is telling us what to do, we go, well, how would you know? Yeah, what are you doing? How would, how would you, what are you playing? Like, what are you pr playing pretend? And then there's guys like El Chapo, which I think even means shorty. Yeah. Who's, where, where the, the lack of height is their power. Like he's, I mean, he, the fact, they, I want that fact that he's a, runs a cartel. That helps. But you're such a, a fucking, sometimes those little guys who run, Powerful organizations are very feared, too, because there's nothing scarier than an angry little guy. Sometimes that's what motivates them to be such fierce sure. leaders, right? Napoleon. An angry little fella. You don't, want to, you don't want to mess with an angry little... Here's something crazy. The Napoleon syndrome, they call that, don't they? Little man syndrome or Napoleon complex, where you're, like, small, but... But the fact is, is Napoleon wasn't, was actually average height for people of the time. He wasn't small. It's only, I think, just because we, we I'm guessing it come from England. England won, so the winner writes history. And I think a bit like us saying Hitler has only got one ball. The others in the Albert, oh, his mother, um, the dirty, cut him off when he was small. Um, yeah, the Napoleon is still called the Napoleon complex, but Napoleon wasn't small. I think that was just a thing that kind of the English started as a kind of diss, do you know what I mean? Like, to make you people not scared of him. He's only little. Sometimes it's okay to mess with angry little fellas. You imagine if that bagel guy yeah. had the ability to have your head cut off. <laughs> Dude, the whole store would, if, if that little guy had El Chapo power, that entire bagel store would be on fire. Dude, he would have burned them. He would have had his guy shoot them. Yeah. The, the store would have been blown to Except for the woman who laughed at him. He would have done her last. Oh, like, now yeah. Now you see what you did? Yeah. He would have made her watch, and then he would have started cutting off her fingers. Let me watch this but video. But unfortunately, he doesn't have that kind of power. He certainly does no, not. he does not. Uh, l l l catch it where he says five feet. I, oh, he yeah. He says his height, and that they laugh at him on dating sites. I know exactly what you're talking oh, about. God. So this, uh, this little fella, he looks like he's probably in his... Late 40s, early yeah, 50s, he's maybe? 50, 50, yeah, yeah, 45. 40, but yeah, somewhere between 45 yeah. and 51. And he's ordering bagels, and he's obviously in some kind of a mood because he said something. The girl, I think he caught the girl smirking at him over him. He caught, he caught her smirking or 
He said the lip bite, like he caught somebody giving a look and he just has had it. And he looked at this girl and he blamed her for every girl that's ever looked at him like a goofball. He exploded. And then he and then it just didn't get any better. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. <laughs> By the way, you never, sorry, I don't want to keep interrupting. No, we can interrupt. When, when you throw down your newspaper and you put your arms out like, <laughs> that's never, you, you, no one six foot one does that. No. Stop throwing your paper down. Damn, that's like a little rascal's move. Especially because when he pushes his fist towards the ground, he looks like he's about to start the lollipop guild dance. <laughs> that's exactly. We represent. <laughs> that's exactly what he looks like. Don't do it. Don't do that. Damn it. Hmm. Yeah, because it highlights the fact that your limbs are shorter than the average limb. <laughs> that was really, throwing the paper down was the best. That was a 1940s movie move. <laughs> that's also, it this really is the was. moment that you know that we've already gone too far. When he's sitting there and he's blaming the girl in the bagel shop for the women on dating apps not giving him the time of day. They're not related. They had a back and forth, obviously. He probably said something <laughs> about her appearance, and she says, who knows? I don't know how. I can't even speculate, but on no, dating sites, you should the, be dead. The girl who filmed this said that she looked up, smiled at him, and asked what he wanted, and he took that as a smirk, and like, you're making fun of my height. I get oh, that. Oh, wait, the girl behind the counter? No, the, no, no. no. The, yes, the girl behind the counter smirked at him. And so he started saying something to the girl behind the counter, and yeah. that's when mm -hmm. the girl who's filming oh, says, yeah. why do you degrade women? And then he goes, and then he goes it's five. okay for them to say I should be dead! And by the way, that's never happened. On dating sites? <laughs> I don't think anybody said, you're only five feet tall, why don't you just die? Exactly, that's Someone's, never happened. Someone said, kill yourself, or you should be, someone has said that. Probably because of his temper. Maybe, yeah. yeah. Or he said something like, what do you think, I should just kill myself? And somebody said, yeah, yep, just sure, go for it. Go for it. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. <laughs> Who said that to you here? Nobody. The women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Yeah. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. <laughs> That's where you know it's real. That's with real. the biting lip. The, the biting lip. He's getting... He's tired of getting laughed at and being... Like, I don't hate this dude, man. Like, I get... He's being a dick. But he's just exploding the smirk. He probably thinks she's cute. But he also gets, he doesn't just get laughed at for being short. He probably acts like a tough guy. He might. And he's when he walk over paranoid. Yeah. When you walk Maybe. around acting like a tough guy. That's true. And you're, you're this guy. Like, it's funny he watching this guy. He probably could use a couple sit ups. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Look, I'm, I'm say saying this. like he's not in the that best shape. Sometimes when you're taller and you, you know, ingest all the calories, there's more room for them to spread out. And unfortunately, yeah. he eats like he's six foot. Even though he's five He's foot. a diminutive man. He doesn't have socks on. And it, it does collect in the belly. <laughs> yeah. But he was having a healthy breakfast. He's a diminutive breakfast. man. He doesn't have socks Travis, so you were able to document what the breakfast was? Yeah. What was it? It was a whole wheat bagel with one egg white and Swiss cheese. He's trying to lose the weight. Yeah. That's yeah. what his bagel was? Yeah. He's trying to, you know why he's trying to lose whole the weight? The, the girls probably make fun of his gut, too. <laughs> That's right. You know, they probably, they probably make a little bit fun of him. But you know what I also think? I don't think that the meals stop at breakfast in the morning. I think there's an in-between meal snack between breakfast and you lunch. You think that was first breakfast? I think there might be How second you know breakfast. What he got? Uh, because they, they, they said yeah, it. Yeah, it was in one of the articles. Do you know? Oh, yeah, this this case, by book. the way, has been very well documented. When you fuck with someone who's short, like there's a story from many years ago, my friend Dean, who is now dead, was 17, he was in a roller rink, and there was a, a dwarf in the roller rink. So my friend Dean did the thing where he was behind the guy and he did his own, like he put his hand like he was saluting to set his own height and then in his stomach <laughs> to make fun of the height of the other guy and the guy saw him do it. So the guy turned around on skates uh -huh. and skated up to my friend and threw him up against the banister and he goes, meet me in the bathroom. And uh, he's like, what? No, I didn't do anything. He goes, meet me in the bathroom. And my friend's like, no. And the guy went, oh. <laughs> spit on him. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking spit on him. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. 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 Talking to seeing someone do something, I when I left school, I worked with my uncle for a couple of years. There was this lunatic there. Look, I'll give you an example of how much of a lunatic this mate he was. One day, he just didn't turn up for work, and he was like, oh, he's not coming today, because that morning, he was walking to my uncle's or whatever to be picked up, see a meat, a butcher's meat wagon with, like, the cows hanging up in the back, got in the back of the van and started punching the things and wouldn't stop punching them and then got nicked basically that was on his way to work in the morning so this mate he was a lunatic 
Um, but my uncle said they was doing this job somewhere and he said he was talking to the woman or whosoever house it was and this lunatic mate, he's like pulling faces behind her back and sticking his fingers up to her, do you know what I mean, doing blowjob signs and whatever, do you know what I mean, all this shit behind her back. Um, and my uncle said she turned round. He said she went anyway, yeah, good job guys and then she's like and she turned around and she went i saw you in the kitchen windy twat <laughs> she said and he just went white <laughs> but yeah it does happen i think that this guy you don't get made fun of to that degree just for walking around being short probably not this guy and you also don't go from oh i'm just a mild-mannered happy-go-lucky easy to get along with dude to i don't know if that's true because i've been on um dating sites I do all right on dating sites, but I've had girls say some mean things to me. But the difference is, I just go, oh, shut up, you div. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really bother me. It doesn't bother me at all. Because I can say, I'm, I do all right on <laughs> dating things. But I suppose if you if you have if you don't, and then what women say is, well, it's like Jim Morrison said, women are wicked. Um, when you're unwanted, and it's true, if 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 no woman wants a man, that he can start to see all women as um, wicked. Women are wicked when you're unwanted. But yeah, anyway, let's go. Now I'm gonna threaten everybody in this bagel store. His day to day is not the most pleasant. But There's he even no know, way. he knows his threats aren't even taken seriously. They shouldn't be. I know, and he knows that. Well, don't make those threats then. I mean, what are you doing? There's nothing worse as a man, though, when you're angry and someone's like, ugh, what? <laughs> <laughs> you think, he's probably better in that position than you think with women before. Yeah. When they're like, hey, listen to me. And they're like, okay. To be honest, I'd say nine out of ten people that threaten you or that would threaten you, they ain't nothing. Anybody who's legit about it ain't going to threaten you. They're just going to come and do it. All right, that's the truth. Anybody who threatens you, it's like if someone rings you up and goes, yeah, ne next time I'll see you, I'm going to smash your head in. It's like, well, thanks. Now I can just be prepared. Like, And anybody that also saying next time I'll see you, don't cut it. Anybody who really has an issue with you that is really about it is just going to come at you. Do you know what I mean? They're just going to come. They ain't going to phone you and tell you. What do you, what do you want? Yeah. What should what should I listen to? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. Boss. We do Dude. see though. Rewind a little bit. Two cups we of do coffee. see as he starts to. So this is when the the guys start to uh, get involved it's and crazy. say, "Relax, relax." Um, he sees the levels of authority as God, and then his dad, and then his boss. He's right. That sounds right. Yeah. That sounds about right. Three pe three entities who are disappointed in him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you think he's seen his boss kind of laugh like, okay, who's the short guy thinks he's going to be in charge here? Yeah, uh, somebody wants to be the boss. He's yeah. a forklift operator. He needs a little boost. Yeah. Little guy. I mean, I don't, you can't, if you walk around acting like a tough guy and you're not a tough guy and people laugh at you because you act like a tough guy even though you're not, that's not the people's fault. If you're not a tough guy, right, don't, act. don't act like a tough guy. Right. I mean, that's, you can't, not everybody gets to be a tough guy. Believe it or not, physically, I'm not the toughest guy. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> I, I, I you, know, but you have I'm the sure. power of repulsing people. <laughs> that's true. So I avoid these situations. You threaten to hug them and they're like, all right, whatever you want. <laughs> it's like when you run your mouth so much, yeah. people are just like, all right, I don't want nothing to do with this yeah. guy. And then occasionally you get called out. And, yeah. the, and you get humiliated when you do get called out. Because most people don't want to get in a fight. Right, they don't. Yeah. But sometimes people are like, I'm, I'm... I have an issue with the other guy, too. Yeah. Tremendous issue. Yeah, no, that's fair. All right, let's keep it moving. Like I'm making that shit up. Yeah. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. <laughs> Dude, you want to step outside? You want to step outside? Huh? I'm not scared of you. That's one of my favorite parts. Hit pause. I'm not scared of you. When he chest bumps him, except he hits him in the waist with his yeah. chest. <laughs> to be fair, yeah. 
That man should have reacted as soon as you stepped to him. I would have. 100%. If you step like that, if you make that physical thing, I'm just going to punch her. Do you know what I mean? I, like, it's on then. Do you know what I mean? Like, But you can see these men ain't really about it either, which most men ain't. Like they said, most men don't want to fight. I don't want to fight, but I will fight. It. Do you know what I mean? But even seeing him step like that, to point and step, that would have been enough for me. That's enough of a physical action for me to be like, all right, you want to go, do you? And then that's it. Do you know what I mean? Either they win or you win. But yeah, let's go. He's very big. <laughs> he steps up to him and he chest bumps him. He pushes the little guy, pushes his chest right in this big guy's face. And it's hilarious for a couple reasons. Number one. Look at his little tippy toes. He's on his tiptoes. Oh, he's on his little tippy toes. <laughs> he's, he's on his little tippy toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. He's on his tiptoes, but his, his chest makes contact with the guy's waist, even on his tiptoes. Yeah, you know why? By the way, this guy, the, the, the short guy, is, I mean, is a little full of it, too, because he knows that that guy's not going to fight him. There's, that's the other thing. He when also you're, knows he won't probably get his ass kicked. When you're little, you know that most people aren't going to beat up the little guy so you can run your mouth. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that with the, the girl that's framing this video, because as a big person, like I'm 6'2 and built big, even if I'm skinny, I'm st I still look like I'm broad and thick. Do you know what I mean? Um, but what I just said is true when people know you're big and like people do push you, especially little people, weak people, weak people are the worst because they push. People that are never gonna fight, and because they because you they know you know they're never gonna fight. You're not like I'm not a bully. I'm not gonna just beat someone up, but then it's them type of people that push you more because anybody else knows what's going to happen. But then that you have these sorts of smaller people where you beat them up, and then people are like, "That's out of order." Do you know what I mean? They might as well be beating up a woman. Trying to get the short guy in the shot. The short guy is so short that you get his entire head to toe body in the video but the guy that he's threatening you can't see you can only see his Up chest his you, elbows, don't even, yeah. you don't even see his head it looks like the nanny in muppet babies yeah, or jack and the beanstalk he's a, little, <laughs> he's a giant man yeah you never see the actual face or shoulders or anything like that it's good i like i'm uh, oh, sorry Go no ahead, it's sorry. good if if somebody knows how to choke somebody out mm -hmm. like this where a guy's just running his mouth and being an asshole and chest bumping mm -hmm. when you choke somebody out you're not really hurting them you're just stopping subduing. Him. Yeah. I like when uh when he's telling the guy to shut up mm -hmm. and he says you're not you're not god or my father or or my boss. Or my boss. <laughs> like like he, he stops his thought and then he decides to tack another one on. In there. case the boss no, is is listening. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> or my boss because you know actually he is authority figure too. Yeah, let's be factual here. If yeah. my boss told me to stop, I guess I would. He is the boss after all. Yeah. <laughs> the best. And you know what he does for a living? What? No, I don't know. No, no I, 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 I don't know. I, I, don't I, I want to know there. about. I do want to know about this guy, but I don't want to see him get in trouble. I'm just dying to know what his life is like. Yeah. He's, this is another guy that like he doesn't need to get in any trouble whatsoever. He's become an international star. He has, and, and he shouldn't. He shouldn't. People get in know trouble. him the world over. <laughs> yeah. Today, he's the bagel guy. Yeah, he can't. Can you imagine the little angry man walking around his neighborhood? Oh, he's got a little hat on now. First of all. He can't get his morning bagel. That's Every, for goddamn sure. Everyone knows who he is in the neighborhood. He's going to have to get Uber Eats because you see this guy in a bagel store. You know, honestly, he should set up a little business for himself and just do meet and greets in bagel stores. I, you know, Can you, I, would you Would you want to get a photo with him in a bagel store yeah. this week? Uh, yeah, I really would. That's a great idea. Right? I wonder if he goes back and if he went back and apologized, would they still serve him? If he went back in and goes, look, I was completely crazy. I'm sorry. I, you never know what the business would do because it's been so good for the business. They might serve him and then he'd flip out again. Eventually. This isn't, this is, eventually, probably within the week. This isn't a guy who's only done this once. I hope he doesn't do it again to try to get another viral video. That'd be great. He's just a flip out guy. Right. Like the way, like network. But he's bad the next time. When they're trying to get Howard Beale to flip out every week. Sure. Because, oh, it's good for ratings. He should put out a t-shirt and it's got to it's going to have his face on it. And the top says, uh, you're not God. And then his face and then, or my father. And then on the back, it'll say. Or my boss. Yeah. That's great. He's so not going to go back to Bagel Boss, though.
No. What no, about they're a different? Giving, they're giving out free <laughs> mini bagels. If based, you mention this video, you based know? on him being an oh asshole. Oh my god! I yeah. didn't even connect the mini to his height. Yes. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's a little guy. Yeah, they don't funny? make they don't make mini bagels. They're making them specially for this guy. They saw how it, Jesus. That's like if he's black and they gave out only pumpernickel. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. They saw I, how much, I didn't make, make that connection. They saw how much it bothered him, and so they decided to rub his face in it. <laughs> they, they love the publicity. The publicity. Bleh, the it's publicity tough. that they're getting. It's a tough word. I love yeah. it. It's, the, it's great. Bagel. I didn't even catch that. Yep. They don't make mini bagels. No, they just make regular bagels. People are definitely going to Bagel though. Boss today, hoping oh, that they yeah. get a just because they want to get a look. Oh, I wonder if that was my because they probably look similar if it's a chain. I wonder if that was my Bagel Boss. Oh, I should go to Bagel Boss today. Who knows what's going to happen? We'll definitely have his name by Monday. I'm surprised we don't already. It's yeah, probably yeah, out there somewhere. Time. No, I'm, I everything really? I've checked every all Twitter everything. I can't. It'll come out. I just I'm sure it'll be out today. I just I'm just curious what he does. Me like too. like. Yeah, where does he work that his boss tells him what to do under his yeah. father and God or my boss. Or my boss. Okay, now we know you're gainfully employed. Uh, okay, let's go back to it. Get him, pal. Enough, enough. You shut up, too. Shut the fuck no. up. Go ahead and attack me, yeah, big Oh. <laughs> and the guy attacked him. I just wanted bagels. I just wanted bagels. That's the other t-shirt. I just wanted bagels. A picture of the guy. So what happened was... The guy goes, hey, shut up. And then he goes, you shut the fuck up. What did you just, come on and attack me. And this giant guy, or maybe he's just average height and he just looks giant <laughs> yeah. next to this little fella. He uh, rushes him, <laughs> pushes him down to the ground, uh, subdues him. And it looks like in the last frame of the video, I think he pulls his t-shirt over his head. <laughs> By the way, this is what I don't like about that guy who t tackled. I'm on hit that guy's side because that's what I mean. I said earlier, if you step to me like that. I uh, maybe I wouldn't run at you and push you over like that to be fair. But I hundred percent would meet that energy, like, all right, let's go. Do you know what I mean? But I fully understand that matey, like, I'm like that. I can take anyone saying anything, it don't bother me. I can it doesn't bother me if people stare at me. It don't people it don't bother me anything. But if you actually make a physical action, whether it's even if it's a push or you just go like that. I'm swinging. Do you know what I mean? Because, yeah. But anyway, let's go. Mm -hmm. I know that this guy's asking for it, and he's being a complete dick. He literally says, attack me. But if that's the fucking guy from the Disney fight, is that fucking tough guy running over and grabbing him? Pink shirt guy or white shirt guy? The guy who tackled him. Pink shirt? No, no, I'm saying the, the Disney, guy in the blue. Disney fight video. Oh, you're saying that if pink shirt guy is, is a short guy. Is right. exploding in that bagel store... Uh, people would tell him, hey, calm down, man. hey, relax, man. But would this guy run over yeah, but and that's just... that's also assessing the situation. Yeah. I mean, he, yes. he, he knows that he that he can stop this problem. He probably knows that he can't stop pink shirt guys. No, but that's... That's a, fair. He, it is, but yeah, it's also... It's self-preservation. He's also not, like, sure. beating him up. No, he's not. No, he's I know that, him. but he, he didn't have to tackle him. I don't the guy wasn't physically this. threatening anybody. He's just being a dick. No, but he was really going after everybody. Yeah, I guess and so. And sometimes yeah. you just have to stop I, I just don't like... It's like, again, yeah, I've said this many times, but it's why I don't scream at old people in the street... Because I wouldn't scream at the guy from Disney. So I'm not going to be a fucking tough with a little old lady and then be a fucking pussy when I... I... Are you comparing this little bagel guy to a little old lady? <laughs> he wouldn't like that if you heard that. You're yeah. probably right. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm comparing him to the guy at Disney. And if a little old lady... <laughs> well, or some of the characters at Disney. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Chip and Dale. <laughs> what? Okay. They're, little. they're, they're little. You know, they're smaller. Maybe the mice yeah. from Cinderella. Oh, fuck. Um, yeah. Jiminy Cricket. I don't know Disney characters. These are the small ones. <laughs> um, These are the, the... An Oompa Loompa? Yeah, it's not Disney, but it works. That's true. I was just saying because it's topical. It works. If you chest bump somebody like that, is that assault? You know what? That is true. He did chest pump a guy. And I mean, assault him. No judge would give you it. You but, could... But you, you contacted See, the kid throws a rattle. Is it assault? If the, the cops, if the cops came, you could have them cuff him for assault, but there's no way he would get assault charges. But yes, you, yeah. could, you could claim assault. To, you could. I uh, pause it there uh, and come back. Uh, I need to take dog for a walk. She just keeps staring at me. But um, yeah, I do get what they're saying. That mate, he wouldn't have done it if he's a bigger guy. But because he looks like someone that you can beat, he did. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I get that. 
I do get what Jim's saying there. But, still. A big guy, I'd, I don't think, would act necessarily act like that. Do you know what I mean? Because you're not being... For want of a better word, belittled. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, two seconds, I'll be back. I need to go and take the door for a walk. Before it starts pissing down in England. Uh, sweet. When he would get assault charges. But yes, you, yeah. could, you could claim assault. Sure, you could, I guess. Sure, you're right. He did chest contact. pop. You know what? He did physically contact somebody. And he was saying, you know, meet me outside. You want to attack yeah, me? Yeah, like, true. It goes back to this thing of, you're right. Big guys shouldn't attack small guys. But at the same time, small guys shouldn't try That's to pick fights with big guys. Also very true. You're right. And this guy did. But the bottom line is he didn't grab this guy. But this guy might have been afraid he was going to hit a lady or so. All right. I, you know what? I'm, I'm mixed on it. Yeah, I don't like fucking grabbing a guy when you wouldn't grab a big guy. But then again, just because you wouldn't grab a big guy doesn't mean that you shouldn't grab a little guy who's fucking with everybody either. Right, right. And he is just subduing him. I yeah. totally get your point, the principle, yeah. the bigger principle of it. Now, look with me because a lot of people have not – I haven't seen this pointed out. But to me, it does appear that the little man's shirt is pulled over his head. Let me see that. Okay. Oh, I just I, I love, I, by the way, that that guy doesn't even take a second from saying "attack me" to actually. He puts him on the ground. Yeah, yep. he goes, "Come and attack me." Guy goes, "You got it." He, <laughs> that, that guy, that guy, he's a the, genie. Your wish is my <laughs> command. <laughs> he was attacking out of anger, though. Like he tackled this little motherfucker. It's like, come on, man, you don't have to do that. I don't think but he's he tackling didn't, out of anger, and he didn't hit him. Yeah, he didn't hit him. He wanted to charge him and attack him. Yeah, he wanted to get him down on the ground and stop what was going on. So did everybody in that story. Yeah, I yeah. understand. I understand. You shut up, too. No, go ahead and attack me, big Okay. <laughs> he didn't even get a sentence out. I just wanted bagels. You'd think being smaller, you're... He would be sturdier. Do you know what I mean? He just went down like a sack of shit. There's no attempt to... St yeah, stay standing. You'd think with a better center of gravity like he's got, it'd be harder to put him down. Why would you, you see the very last scene? It looks like the shirt's over his yeah, head. What In the very last frame, By it looks... mistake. Maybe. Oh. Which part two? I never saw the other one. Even if it's not as good, is it, is it after this happens or yes. before? Yes. Part two is definitely worth watching. So he's still yelling after this? Yes. <laughs> And that's why. Like part two. That's why I tell you. I haven't seen it. It's like the Godfather two. That's why. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's as good as Godfather two. Ah, it's pretty good compared to one. But it's that's better than three. That's why I tell you that this guy, this is not. He didn't just get caught on a bad day. This is habitual. Why this the, guy I'm, does not get made fun of for being short. He gets made fun of for being short and acting like he's a tough guy everywhere. Why? The, why the fuck did that woman stop filming? She just wanted bagels. I mean, she stopped. For, I'm mad at the camera person who gave us this. I'm greedy. I'm sorry. You really are. I mean, she got it. You're she right. captured this You're right. beautiful moment but then for she, all of us to enjoy. All right, let's see what happens. To I the think you guy. get scared because you're just not used to somebody tackling. Oh, you mean some, when, when you're oh, videoing? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, of you're like, course. Oh. Yeah. You're not sitting there thinking about creating content yeah, at that right. point. You're, you're right. thinking about the fact that just 30 seconds ago, the video is like 30 seconds long. 30 seconds ago, you were just peacefully ordering bagels, right? She says it. I just wanted bagels. Then over the course of 30 seconds, some shrimp of a man starts yelling at everybody, threatening to beat everybody up, chest bumping somebody's waist, and then a big six-foot guy comes and tackles him and pulls his shirt up over his head. What did you just walk into? Hey, let's go to Ryan in Long Island, because I, I believe him. Uh, let's go to... Oh, wrong mouse, that's... Wait. What's up, Ryan? Phone, well, first of all, Travis, phone, they phones weren't on. Make no, bagels. no, the phones weren't turned on. Why? Uh, I don't know. What's up, Ryan? Hey, guys, can you hear me? Hey, yeah. Ryan, yes. Hey, first of all, Travis, they absolutely make mini bagels, you dummy. Yes, yeah. stupid. I, I'm so I'm stupid. Dumb, I'm... Hey, stupid idiot. Maybe, <laughs> maybe they should make asshole bagels for Travis tomorrow because he's yeah. so stupid. Exactly. <laughs> you dummy. Or how about fucking one big bagel, one small bagel, and then the big bagel leaves and the small bagel cries. Okay, that's <laughs> so personal. What kind of an idiot doesn't know that? Is that a reference to his mother leaving? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> You'd say they should make his bagel mom leave? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Sucks. I'm sorry. I didn't but, mean that. <laughs> Go on, Ryan. 
Uh, but yeah, I don't know how true it is, but I definitely see like screenshots of uh, Tinder and shit like that, where girls will be very mean to people who are under six feet. Yeah. Um, under six feet? I don't know how feet? real or wide. Yeah, oh, some yeah, of them yeah. Yeah. It's shit. like it is like that. It's like if you're under six feet, you should kill yourself. Like I'll see things like that. I'm the, I've I've never used a dating site, but so I don't know how real or widespread it is. But it's like a meme on the internet for sure. So but is that, that shit. is that a goofy quote in their profile or are they messaging people yeah. saying, hey, you, you are short. You should kill yourself. Yeah, that's definitely in their profile. But I, mean, I don't know if people are that mean. I've never I, I've never used Tinder. I've been with my girlfriend for years. You know what it is, dude? He's yeah, probably right. I'll bet you that there's a lot of women who've had a side, Ryan. Yeah, he's getting a little something. He probably cheats. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think so. I'll bet yeah. you a, a lot of uh, <laughs> girls he's liked have said, "Hey, you know, a certain height or whatever," or he's talked to them a little bit and they've realized he was short and they stopped. I believe the girl him. said that to him. Or he just is like he's probably talked to girls who say they have a height requirement. And then he's like, yeah, but I'm, I'll show her I'm better, I'm different. And then they just well, you're don't not, go They're it. not attracted to you. Yeah. yeah, I believe what Ryan's saying. I can buy that there are women on, like, Tinder and whatnot that have in their profiles memes about, you know, anybody under six feet should die or whatever, thinking it's a joke. But I don't believe that there's been a plethora of women that have messaged this guy personally right. and said, hey, yeah, since you're five feet tall, you should kill yourself. You, you know, know, I think he's just read it on profiles two, right? of women that he was attracted to that he didn't have a shot with anyway. That's right. And he took it personally. Yeah. Either, yeah. either way, either way, he shouldn't be a dick, but I do feel for the guy. I do too, He's man. a short guy. I, I mean, mean, he also uses that as an excuse when, like, the real issue is that he's just an asshole. Yeah, he's not an attractive person. Nobody would want to hang out with him. I would. I'd talk to him for a little while. Just get him all revved up again. Wouldn't you love to interview him? Oh my God! I, I want nobody on the radio more than him. I would love it. I'd sit there every I want to do a podcast with him. I'd sit there and like you butter him up, like, "Oh man, you look great today." Blah blah blah. Why do you think they were doing mini bagels? Yeah, <laughs> just because it would take That's two. Really degrading. It would take two seconds for either one of we could get him up and down like a roller coaster the whole time. It'd be a blast. Let me see part two because I didn't even know this existed. I'm so happy. Wait a minute. We have our own. Isn't Rob a little shrimp of a guy? How tall is but, Rob? I mean, yeah, he is. I don't know. But why he's you gotta cute. Say that. Yeah, Rob he's is handsome. cute. That's what I'm saying. And he's shape. He's handsome with clothes on. Yeah, he, but Rob doesn't have to deal he with what this guy this does. Guy's got. Yeah, this guy. We mean getting deal rejected. with it. Rob does work to get not have a gut. Rob goes to the gym. Oh no! But I'm... the truth of the matter is, if this, I mean, uh, maybe people won't like this, but the truth of the matter is, if that little short man was rich. He'd have every beautiful girl you've ever seen. Yeah. I'm saying he doesn't have to deal with what this guy lives with. For whatever oh, reason. Yeah, yeah. He's but, a better looking dude. No, he's got his hair. This, this, guy is... this guy wants to make it seem like because he's short, this is all happening to him. That's part of it, yeah. When in reality, Rob is a little tiny guy, but it helps that he's good looking. And he has a personality. But he's not an asshole. Yeah, that's the thing. Just being short is this guy's not this guy's biggest problem. Exactly. No. He's an asshole. That's the biggest problem. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but women are supposed to like assholes. Not when you're threatening to beat them up <laughs> in a bagel store. And not when you're fat and you're like, you know, yeah. you're older guy and it's like, Rob, we're talking about this guy. I yeah, no, that's true. But there's a, there's a way you have to be an asshole. Basically, by being an asshole with a woman, you need to basically not be a pushover and not let them get their way with everything. Otherwise, they will just lose everything for you. <clears throat> God, you're the expert on How on, tall are you? on short guys. Uh, five six. Come yeah, on. Yeah, five six not bad. No, yeah. five six isn't bad I'm at five, all. Six. I know because he's five five. He's not five six. Yeah, he can't be five six. He's I'm no, five seven. He's not five six. I am. No, you're five five. He's Do you think he's five six, Troy? No. <laughs> Don't lie down. no nobody does. No. Don't lie down. He's not five six. No. He's probably five five and a half. How tall are you? Five nine. I'm five. Yeah. Well, I'm five. I say I'm five ten because I'm five nine and a half. That's cool. Yeah. Five seven. But guess what? Five almost five seven. I did growth hormones when I was a kid. Otherwise, I'd be a tiny little guy. Yeah, with, a, really big, works. with a big head. <laughs> yeah, there's no way Rob's five six if I'm wow. five seven. He's not five six. Mm -hmm. He's not. Should we get a measuring tape? No. no yeah, no. No, okay. we we know. No, yeah, right. we just. You know what I mean? We know. Oh, okay. Maybe I know we could right, do. Well, we could get a measuring tape. On your bed. And we could measure the difference <laughs> from a, a fucking a rafter to the floor. <laughs> no, and then we, if you hang yourself with it, we can measure the distance between your feet and the floor, <laughs> then <and> subtract. <laughs> I was gonna say maybe do a measurement around the neck area. Sure. Yeah, yeah. For, for a collar of a shirt or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but like, have you had a, a, a short person discrimination? No. 
Yeah, because you know he's handsome. He's a handsome guy, but he's also he's handsome, Rob. So I mean, that, look, he's a he's a good looking guy. That, 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 but he's also he's a cool dude. Pretty short though, and he keeps himself in yeah. shape. Yeah, yeah. You Dress know what I mean? Is good, huh? Dresses nice. He dresses well. Yeah, this guy yeah, could was... maybe maybe he shouldn't shop in the boys section dude, of the t- store. But it, dude, also Rob towers over him. Yeah, well, he's that's sick. True. Exactly, he's Rob's height. He's six inches shorter than Rob. Not, five feet is small. Rob's not five six. All right, five, yeah, five, he's five inches. Yeah, he's five. five yeah, Rob is five inches taller, not six inches. He's my dick width shorter than Rob. <laughs> width. <laughs> width. Wow, man, Jeez. you got a nice thick one. Good <laughs> <for> you, <Jim>. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, you're right. I mean, being five five and being five foot. Are not the same. No, thing. dude, five there's... foot is small. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, right under it is a is a midget or dwarf or whatever yeah, little person. Mm-hmm. How about how about Peter Dinklage fucks yeah. though? Peter Dinklage is yeah. Peter but... Dinklage is handsome, but and he's, he's got also a great personality, and he's also handsome. a full. He's a dwarf. Peter he's Dinklage got a lot of cash too. Is a dwarf. He can act. He's good looking. You're saying this guy's a short, talentless bum? Yeah. Well, this guy is <laughs> five foot, so he's not. He doesn't fit in anywhere. Right. He's not technically a little person because he's five foot. He's probably four eleven, but still. <laughs> he's, you think he's doing some Rob math there, dude? He's right on the fucking cusp. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? He probably is four eleven. Because even girls are like. Right at that five foot height. Yeah, you know, like you. I mean, if a girl is five feet even, that's like that short, cute height. Right. Being five, but foot he's like a little shorter, probably. He's like probably guy. four eleven and three quarters. He's got that little baby gut. That's the thing. He doesn't keep himself in shape. No. That's a personal decision, dude. He's being a five foot tall man sucks. Yeah. Why do you think being I did five five sucks? Why do you think I did injections every yeah. day for th- three years? Every day. Every day. Injections for is, three is that, years. Does that give you like? Does that make tumors bigger eventually too, or no? It's I huge. certainly hope not. But I'll let you know when we get there. <laughs> when you're older. So like, if you have a little bit of cancer growing in you, and you start taking that, it just speeds it up. But now he's already. Sam did it. I mean, yeah, I don't. Ago. I don't. I don't think then you had cancer in you, but no, no. Hopefully not. If if I did, then look at me. I beat it with no medicine. That's Isn't right. that impressive? That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. I'm with that. COVID. Yeah, no. I and it's not like they were. Uh, they were putting growth hormone in my body that the average person would have had anyway. anyway it's not okay, like they, they, they were replenishing what you should yeah. have had. Although the one thing I do, I wish I had been working out when I was yeah, taking HGH. Muscles, yeah. Oh my God. That would have been great. Everything would have been, but I, you know, what, what are you going to do? That's right. What are you going to do? At least I'm not five feet getting mad at people in a bagel store. Show me part two. I'm okay. desperate. So this is after they've cleared everybody out. I guess they broke it up and the guy left. Somebody else video. This is a different person video ah, now. Ah, okay. And uh, and the guy is trying to just wrap up his visit at the bagel store. Absolutely. Oh, and, his, and a guy three times my size. That's what he's. That's okay. Get your food in. What happened? What happened? He dropped his and bag. he dropped his he bagel. Oh, he, he did not because his fingers are so little. He went to grab it and walk out, and he dropped it. And he goes, "Ah, fuck it!" Because his little hands, little stiff gargoyle hands, couldn't grab it. His fingers are too little, and he's trying to play the victim. You know when you know you're oh, short God. when you can describe a man as being three times the size of you. But he, he had, <laughs> like that means that I mean, the average height three times would be like a giant. And and the bottom line is that guy tackled him. Who I thought the guy was a dick for tackling him, but then again, he said, "Go ahead, tackle." Like he was. Talking he literally about said, shit. "Please attack me." I just chest bumped this man at the dick area. He's not used to guys calling him out for real. Yeah, that's why yes. he's hateable because he's 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 threatening people and he's and he's you know pushing them to actually attack him. And then afterwards, he's like, "Oh, a guy attacks me three times my size. That's okay." It's like somebody on Twitter who says something and then you bash him and they go, "They sick his followers yeah. on me." It's right. like, "Shut up." You started it. You said something. You, you started it. I thought you wanted the smoke. Oh no. <laughs> Jesus. He dropped, he's drop his little fucking meal again. Well, All that the... and he drops it and he doesn't want to pick it up cuz it's too embarrassing to pick <laughs> it up. Video's not over. Right. Okay. Well, he acts like he's acting like he threw the bagel down. He dropped and it. And said, "Fuck your food. I don't even want it." But he dropped it. Yeah. Cuz his fingers are short. Everything on him is smaller doesn't than the average work. size. Yeah, of course. Just watching Voss trying to get paid after a set. <laughs> <laughs> Just cash all over the ground. Yeah. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, he paused. He <laughs> no, I didn't want. He didn't want that. He didn't want that. He wants to be scary, and then no one. <laughs> Some Long Island bitch and, and, laughed at him. <laughs> <laughs> 
And you want to be sympathetic and go like, oh, you didn't have to laugh at him. He's having a bad day. Yeah. But at the same time, when a guy is in there going, fuck you, fuck all of you, you like really acting like a total dick. And he comes across looking like a fool. You're within your right to laugh at Yeah, him. and there's a bunch of women who aren't scared of him. No, and I believe that that uh, teenage girl over there in the glasses is the one that was videoing him in the first video. Oh. I believe. Okay. She's the she, hero. She is the, uh, I just came here to get some bagels. Oh. I think that that's the new Kevin Smith. I'm not even supposed to be here today. From now on, people are going to start saying, I just wanted some bagels. <laughs> No, now. Nah. Hit pause. He picked his food up and got it. Now, now I'm going to take it. Now that you laughed at me, now I'm going to take the food I paid for. He you didn't want to. He didn't pay for it. Oh, he didn't. No. You know what would be brilliant? What I would, I would just, if this whole thing, they should just turn this around and go part three. Have him yelling again, and then have somebody offer him a Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. It's perfect. He's hangry. He wants it. He realizes he is because he just got tackled to the ground, humiliated. Everybody saw it happening. He's still at a thousand. And he realizes if I don't get a bagel on my sister. This is the definition of keep talking to cover up the fact you just bombed. Right now, I'm going to just be angry all day. Oh, I need oh, to calm oh, down. No. Oh, no. Don't don't zoom in on his feet again. What's wrong with his feet, Jim? Please don't tell me he's yelling on his tiptoes again. Look well, his, it looks like his little heels are lifted. I'm yeah. going to tell you something. His heels are not firmly planted on the ground. They're lifted. On your bed, no, no. Woman, she's probably now. five, five. Yeah. yeah. Look how, I mean, he is. Now. Jim, yeah. Do you know why he's on his tiptoes? Now. He can't see over the counter. He, he's tired of fucking peeking in and only seeing the lower rung, rung of bagel. He didn't even know they had a top shelf there. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when you were a little kid and you couldn't see over the counter? I'm but imagine if now. you were an adult. Yep. No. Oh, like sometimes when like I have to like pick my daughter up so she can now. see something. Yeah. Oh, you think people have to do that for him? Yes, they do. Lie he down. Wants, he doesn't want them to, but he does. He does. Yeah. yeah. He can't go to concerts. Uppy. Oh yeah. Uppy. If he's not in the front row of concerts, forget it. He's got to be in the upper tier balcony. He does. First row of that. <laughs> he does. Because you know why? Why? He's tiny. Everybody's so much taller than he is. Yeah. <laughs> Poor fella. Poor guy. He's torturing movies. Oh, oh Front row forget. again? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, far away. You get a better view that way. But they know. They know. Because both halves of him are small. So even when he's sitting down, even though everybody's sitting, his torso is so small that he sinks into the chair. And he's perfect height for a coach seat, but too fat for a coach seat. Yeah, he is. Oh. He could be really comfortable in that coach seat. Sure. But he let himself go a little bit. He really did. And you know what he looks like in the movie his theater? His legs stick straight out. Who was it? Lily Tomlin that used to do that bit where she was sitting in that giant yeah. chair on stage? That's him at the movies. Yep. <laughs> his legs don't bend over the end. He's so jealous he sees legs bending over the end. Because his knees are on the seat. Yep. You know how your, your, your <laughs> knees yeah. hinge over the seat? Just don't hinge. No, because if your back is against the chair, his ankles go over the seat. <laughs> yeah, little blocks on the fucking gas and brake pedal. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's got a specially made car? <laughs> you bet he does. It's unfortunate. It is. That's real. Hold on two seconds. I need some more coffee. All right, yeah, let's finish this off because I really want to start um, where they interview him, especially after this. But let's go. That's really tough. 30 of his friends pile out of it. Except he's not a little person, so he doesn't have that community. Right. Like, little people are like, you're not one of us. But average-sized people are going, look how look how small you are. Because you, you can't make fun of little people. But you can make fun of short people. Yeah. He's and just short. He's just short. Really, really short. Let me see the rest. There's a lot more of this video. There is. Well, he's mad. He picked up his... He, he so went and got it. He, he first received his breakfast, but his little fingers are too short, so he dropped it. Then he yelled at them because they laughed at him. Then he went back to pick up his breakfast and said, you know what? I'm going to take my breakfast. I know. Stop eating carbs, fatty. <laughs> See, that's mental because you shouldn't be shouting at women like that. Now, maybe that's a sexist thing to say, but you really shouldn't. Even him, as a small man, would overpower probably all of them women at the same time. Do you know what I mean? 
if you're standing there, I mean, it's different if you're in a relationship, that kind of just happens, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's true, but, um, yeah, as a man, you shouldn't be screaming at women like you're about to have a fight with them. That's the vibe he's got. He's proper leaning over and he's he's moving and yeah, that's mental. Yeah, he said all you women treat short guys like shit. Yeah, he's got he's got real oh, yeah. he's got real anti woman issues. Yeah, yep. he's another incel mass murderer. Yep. yep. Yeah, I mean that's yeah. Oh, yeah. Anybody that and feels they're not even hot. No, no. Jelly and a bunch of threes. They're Long Island <laughs> bagel store employees. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, they just have vaginas. They do. Yeah, mm. they have vaginas, and that species. Yeah, has been very rude to him in the past. But I bet you he's not looking to date short women either. Like he's not trying no, to date trying to women get tens. who are four eight, four nine, or no. five feet. He's trying to date women who are fucking five eleven. Who just I get it. Because, I would too, but you don't want it because he's how a many tough women guy. are five eleven? You forget Jim. he's a tough guy. But even women that size don't want to. Guy that's short, you know what I mean? Like, like a four eight it, it woman gets, wants a big, a six foot guy. Yeah, yeah. Or, or at least you know five seven, five eight. Yeah, you know a little bit bigger because girls like to wear heels. So I mean, you can't wear heels around this guy. That's right, right. And and you know, you you women like to be in the present. They like to feel like it, like there's a man protector. With them. But yeah, even protector. After, even after that guy tackled him, he's still yelling. The guy's the other guy's left. He calmed down. That's or... how. That's how you know. Yeah, he's just a dick. Yeah, yeah. For everybody that feels sympathy for this guy. Who doesn't feel sympathy for the incel assholes right. that are online? That's it's who this guy is. That's right, those incel dickheads. Yeah, cock blockers who want to kill girls because they, because their personality sucks so bad. All of his problems are his. Hey, women. Yeah, he's yelling at all the women. At I hate that incel thing. The yeah, I hate that word because. There's an endless amount of reasons why men in this modern world become to resent women. And uh, when everything that is male is seen as bad, but everything that's female or feminine is seen to be as good. Uh, but however, like I don't like that word in so I don't like the word that, that people use that term. But basically, boys that are lost, boys that ain't got no guidance, basically. But um, I have to say, I found out what it actually means, incel. Because I thought incel was like, like to do with the military. And, and, and that's why I didn't like it. I was thinking, I don't think there's this like a military of boys that can't get any but it actually means and it did make me laugh as much as i hate the word and hate people that use it and hate women that attack men do you know what i mean like that but um it stands for involuntarily celibate that is hilarious <laughs> i have to say that's actually a hilarious thing involuntary involuntary involuntarily <laughs> Celibate, that's jokes. I don't, I don't know why it made me laugh, but I, don't get me wrong, I hate that word, hate people to use it, hate that kind of political spectrum of people that use it, but that's, it is funny. Eagle store, they didn't even say anything to him. Right. He's short, you know? Did you notice like that he's not as tall as the other people in the store? I did. That's a shame, huh? Yep. But do you see the women that he's yelling at behind the counter... He can't see over the counter. He knows they're back there. He hears them. He smells that perfume. <laughs> Who's he with that's guiding him out? Oh, a guy pushed him. It was just a guy. Oh, get the Escorting fuck that guy. Him. Get the fuck. The guy's mm. walking out and the guy walks and puts his hands on his shoulder and pushes him out. I'll take care of this. What the fuck are you doing? He said all the women are too fucked up. It's on a hairline trigger. He's got yeah, a point. Just the way the, the I under, like again a guy walking and just kind of sh half shoving him out the door. What the fuck? Yeah, are that you guy doing? sucks too. Yeah. What the you're fuck are you like, doing? You're not doing anything. You're not even the guy that tackled him. You're not. You're not the big man here. He's leaving anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, get, get get rid of him. Don't worry, ladies. I got the situation under control. Oh, good. I'm so glad we we had you here, camo shorts. 
Yeah. You know, I'm so, so glad you were here to take care of things. But a lot of guys won't confront him because they don't want to get beat up by a little like he must not have had a fight. He doesn't, though. No. He doesn't, no, no, no. He's, he's good at getting tackled. <laughs> right, yeah. He, got, he, got, he went down like a dummy in NFL yeah, practice. Yeah, he really did. He went down like a dummy at the combine. And the guy, I guess, I guess the guy got pulled off him. I wanted to see how the guy got off him. Yeah, because I would have thought he was going to stay on him until the cops came or something. Just pull his head, if she's a little shirt over his head, and like imagine how degrading that would be, and tickle him. Give him a wedgie. <laughs> yeah, give him a wedgie. <laughs> Drag him into the bathroom and shove his face in the, give him a whatever, a flushy or whatever they're right. called. Shove his face in the toilet. Swirly. The swirly. That's what it is. Give him a, you think he's ever had a swirly? You think at school, the bullies got him with a swirly? Probably. I held, held him by the down. ankles. Yeah. yeah. Shake out his lunch money. Like a plunger. Yeah. <laughs> Little but fat I, plunger. I bet he was the same way in high school. Yeah. I bet he was this short little guy that was, thought he could fight everybody and got beaten up all the time. But then you get to like you know your forties and you're just not getting laid. You start to lose it. Apparently, yeah. I wouldn't know. I've gotten laid at least twice, and that's confirmed. I would love to know who this guy is. I'm just curious about his life. You know why? If I was in this situation, I would not intervene or tackle or do anything. I would want it to go on as long as possible. Mm -hmm. Would you enjoy it? I would love it. I would go to the back of the line in the bagel store because I wouldn't want my experience to be shortened. I would want to stay. I would be paradise for me in that store. I would adore it. If I was sitting there, my wife would probably go like, oh, Sam, we got to do something. I'd go, Jess, take the kids home. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to camp out here for a while. I'm going to watch this. I want to see what's going on. This, but, uh... but I'll be honest. God damn it. That doesn't make me want a bagel. <laughs> Shit, it does. Bagels are great. Want more Jim and Sam? Yeah, well, there's, there's points, to be honest, that I'm kind of on his side, and I understand what he's saying, but the truth is, yeah, it's not just his height. The fact is, as of everything that you hear about women and how to get women like the Prince Charming, and it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What a boy thinks when he comes to an age of wanting to get a girl doesn't work. Um, like you'll fall in love with a girl in your year and then she'll go out with a boy that's two years older because he's older. He, he treats her like shit, you treat her. But then you kind of have to reassess and it gets into a trial and error almost thing with girls where like but if you don't go through that transition then yeah i think there's two transitions in a male life it's either to see yeah how you can get start thinking how how do i change because pretty much everything a man does in his life is to impress women pretty much do you know what I mean, otherwise men wouldn't really do anything. Um, but I think, yeah, that's the crossroad in a in a man is that, um, yeah, you either go kind of on a explorative journey to find out what works. And I'll be honest, if you find out what works with women, it pretty much works on all of them. It really does, but. If you don't find that, yeah, you become resentful and hateful. But it's not just the, it's it's not just men like older men that go through that. It's older women like, say like a man in his forties who's not married and doesn't have kids. A lot of men are, can be quite happy with that. Like they can be happy with that. Like they can revert to porn and pot noodles do you know what i mean it it really doesn't matter for them but for a woman the height like men the highest chance of man as a dying up to about 50 something is him killing himself from i think seven till then the highest chance a boy has of dying is killing himself but women it's not like that until they get to their 40s and they're not married and they're not single. Women that get older, like, and I don't mean obviously every woman, but you're talking about kind of the average. The average man can deal with that. He's more than happy with that. 
some men even prefer it. But with women, if they're not settled down by the end of their 40s, then that's when women's suicide goes up. You're statistically higher to take your own life as a woman if if you're not settled by that age, and in, it kind of it kind of like how society is, where it tells women to be a man, basically be a, a girl boss and and go and work for a company and work every hour. And be the man yourself and not need a man and blah, 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 blah. Well, that's great. That's great. Until, yeah, you get to 40s and you're no longer the prize you once was. Uh, talk to a man. Chances are you've been run through by a load of guys. You're probably nuts because of it. And no guy stuck around. And yeah, also your the ability to have babies is, I truly believe that's why women grow up faster, because to be honest, they have to. Like as men, do you know what I mean? Look at the Rolling Stones, they're in about 300 years old and they're still knocking out kids left, right and centre. But for women, it is a biological clock and so that's why women do grow up and mature quicker than boys. Really, for a boy, you don't never have to grow up. But, yeah, women who kind of say you don't need a man, it's true, like I say, up until the point where men don't want you anymore. Like, you you haven't got... The truth is as well, even young girls, even young, hot, 18-year-old, do you know what I mean, 20-year-old girls that have the world glued to them, they really haven't, like, they've got a lot of men that want to fuck them, but that's it. There's very few men that really, like, that you're going to find in your life that are really going to, you're going to click with and, and stick with, and I think, like, the attention that girls get tricks them into thinking that there's hundreds of men that want to fall in love with them, and then it's not the case. But like I say, yeah, once you start getting older... It's just kind of the difference between men and women as well. Like, why women are more used to self-harming. Like, that, that statistically, you're more likely to self-harm as a female, but you're more likely to take your life as a man. Or you're more likely to do become aggressive or, or do some mass shooting or something as a man. And it's because when women kind of become angry at the world, they turn that anger inside and cut themselves and whatever. But when a man does it, he tends to turn his anger outwards. And and also, that's why it's not good to, to tell boys to to lead boys away from their masculinity and, and lead them into femininity. Um, because the, yeah, the, the aftermath is very different. A, f a girl who's in touch with her emotions, body, 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 the worst she's going to do, like I say, is cut herself. Statistically, you're highly unlikely to kill yourselves, but cut yourself or something. Whereas if you teach a man to be inside of his, f to kind of be emotional, typically if you make a man emotional and he gets angry, he's going to lash out and it's dangerous. I don't know, yeah, I kind of went on a long thing, but there's a part of me that kind of agrees with what he's saying. Um, yeah. But yeah, I do also understand what they're saying. There's a lot of work he could have done on himself over the years where he wouldn't be Screaming and shouting at girls in a bagel shop. Um, but now I'm desperately di I'm dying to uh to do the interview now. This is gonna be so great. But yeah, sweet.